Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Tarot with a new pick a card. Today we will be checking their next move and when. So we have three piles. As always, please remember this is a general reading. It's not a personal, so don't treat it as one. Only you can tell how much it resonates with your situation. I can't tell it from your from your side this is why i try to state your situation first so if the beginning of the reading doesn't fit if it's not your situation don't make it fit because these three piles cannot cover all possible options these are just three groups of people i am connecting with today so it's if it's not your message check out my other picky cards i have a lot of them or check out other readers on youtube there are a lot of amazing readers out there and i'm sure one of them is making a video just for you today so and we are doing the reading uh, for three piles for pile number one we have this turquoise egg for pile number two we have a red or watermelon egg and for pile number three we have this green egg so please choose your pile and i will see you in timestamps hey those who chose pile number one let's see as i was saying first i will state your situation what's happening uh in your life with the person you're asking about and then we will be going to check what will be their next move and when hmm we have the page of pentacles sorry kitty distraction so we have the page of uh, spirals which is uh, uh, ones here so we have the page of ones we have the eight of cups the nine of cups the ten of cups the ten of swords and the ace of wands as well and it feels like pile number one you're asking about either a person it's like a person of your dream um you either wanted to get married or you were you were married or you had um how to say it was like a promising relationship that was promising marriage it's not about a fling it's not about a crush it's about a person you've been with and a person you thought was um your dream come true but it feels like you were the one to walk away from this situation because it turned to be a major disappointment so some of you've been married others were going to marry you've been engaged or something like this but you've been together and it was going strong and serious and uh, though it turned out to be a huge disappointment and for for most of you it was really really painful with the ten of swords here um you are hoping for a new beginning with this page of swords with the ace of uh, sorry page of wands and the ace of wands here uh which represents the kind of the spiral beginning a renewal of some sort a new passionate beginning for something that came to an end before so yeah you're asking about your ex-husband or ex-wife ex-partner for most of you but i don't know what happened but you would want to walk away here as well because uh there was a situation where you had to choose you or them uh, or you were hoping they will choose you and they didn't choose and you kind of chose your your own heart and your own happiness and maybe maybe they reached out recently or you've been just thinking about them recently but you're hoping for a new beginning here okay so if it's not your situation don't continue watching if it's yours let's see let's see more about this situation what's their next move and when i feel like it's like 50 50 some of you are in communication here some of you are not so we have five of cups three of wands the empress hmm. four of swords nine of wands and eight of swords. oh one more wants to come out so 
it feels like you've been uh, we have the magician that came out to clarify the eight of swords so i do feel like you've been kind of pregnant with the idea of getting back together with this person for a while now uh, you've been manifesting, working on yourself, praying, hoping. You've been really upset that it turned out this way. And there's a lot of missing and thinking and looking forward. Looking forward for things to come forward, kind of. So on the one hand, you're waiting. You're waiting what future will bring you, hoping for a new beginning. On the other hand, you're not doing anything for it because um, you kind of put it on hold and hoping that they are going to reach out, not you. You can't do this because of your past experience. Your past experience is not letting you act on it because you feel like there's nothing you can do. They have to be the one to do something here. But you're manifesting, you're manifesting, you're praying, you're calling, you're doing everything possible. Maybe you're going to the healers or for personal guidance. It's like, mm, it feels like for pile number one, a lot of you may believe that you are on a twin flame journey or soulmate journey, something like this. So you are uh, relentlessly working on yourself hoping that it's going to bring this person back to you okay let's see so let's see will they reach out what's their next move what's their next move the person you're asking about what's their next move huh interesting Well, a lot of major arcana already. So we have the Fool, uh, the Six of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Tower, the Five of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. And it feels like your person is um, it's kind of waiting for, for the same. It's also... Um, I feel like maybe they chose somebody over you or they chose their job over you. They, most probably, yeah, I felt like there was a choice. Either you or something else, they didn't choose you or they've been taking too much time to, to do this. So you walked away. So now they are free from this situation or this responsibility or this choice. They are free to come forward. But they are hoping for the same that you will do this. And they've been waiting for a while for you to reach out. Um, but with the tower, they've been realizing that it's not going to happen. Uh, the thing is, their ego is not letting them do this. They will reach out to you. They will reach out to you. Just... Mm -hmm. Not soon. And this person will not do it directly. They will do it through through your uh, common friends. Just one second. I will adjust. I will adjust the light. So they will do it through your friends, or they will try to arrange a meeting through their friends, or maybe kind of to uh, ambush you at some somebody's party, somebody's birthday party, mm, or just a party. So they will not come to you directly no their ego is not letting them come to you directly but they are kind of planning something some some ambush for you okay so let's try to get when this this will happen their next move hmm interesting it definitely will be some kind of gathering some kind of party and they are going to act as if they has they have nothing to they have nothing to do with it it's like they will be playing cool and reserved okay okay we have four 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 we have four four times four wow this car jumped out in reverse two nines Come on, seriously, we have four fours and two nines. So for some of you, it's going to happen in uh, uh, in four days even. 
for others four weeks four months can be for some of you it's up to four months it's gonna happen um, and it will be in complete secrecy definitely at at a party or at a social gathering where you will be and your common friends will be they will kind of arrange this meeting through other friends you will not know about it and they will definitely look like they have nothing to do with it they they didn't plan it they didn't want it it's like like this and but when you go into meet they will be kind of releasing the past they will be releasing the past it will be difficult more difficult to do it for you though releasing the past in the way that they would want they would also want a new beginning but in a different way uh the problem is here that they don't want to show you that they are interested so uh the ego is really coming up strong here so you may be dealing with the leo uh i mean the sun sign leo sun leo rising leo venus in leo uh this person can be leo or um, i'm just just having a lot in their chart i mean a lot of fire in their chart uh, it feels like they need you to to make the first step they, they at least they want you to make the first step because they are not repeating mistakes of the past this is what it's here getting here they want you but without mistakes of the past <laughs> interesting of course uh well guys um it's been interesting so if you feel like this is your situation if it resonates you may be interested in uh, following me to the extended reading the link will be down below in the description box and in the uh, comment section as always it's on my website if you decide to follow me there we're gonna talk soon if not i hope to see you soon with my other videos and i'm moving to pile number two now Hey, those who chose pile number two with this watermelon egg, let's see. So we are going to identify your situation first and then um, we will see if your person will uh, act and when, what they're going to do and when. So this is interesting. We have the queen of swords and the king of swords coming together. Also, we have the two of swords. So you, you're talk, we're talking uh, for pound number two. We're also talking about a partner, uh, maybe an ex-partner, but somebody. It's like you're equal. We have seven of uh, stones. It's pentacles and nine of pentacles and the watcher, which is queen queen of cups here. <sighs> In this deck, uh, this Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, they are of a creative sort as I see them. Um, how to say? So, you have a very strong mind connection with this person. So, either you're into similar things, maybe you're writing something, you're doing some, there's, both of you are highly intellectual. And... Um, it's not a coldish type of intellectual, but just very intellectual and at the same time creative. And uh, maybe again, oh, many of you may, can be writing or can be into reading, into poetry, into um, studies. Uh, you may be studying together or working together or having a creative project together. But this person is your equal. I feel like for most of you, it will be similar, um, same age or approximately the same age. And uh, also, both of you are independent and both of you are kind of very goal-oriented and very driven. So, uh, yeah, stubborn. Stubborn, of course. It's like similar level of um, stubbornness and um, similar intellectual level, similar level of independence. So both of you are very strong and independent, but again, you're coming together. Uh, there are not even two of swords between two of you. So either you are already together. Maybe it's not just official. Maybe it's just starting. I feel like for some of you, it can be a new relationship. And uh, it's... Or for, for most of you, it's been going on and off. Or just you've been dating forever and you are not sure if this person's gonna do anything. Like offer you something more, more serious because... Mm, I feel like with this Queen of Cups here, you, the viewer, I feel like it's your energy. You've started to feel much 
much more and much deeper feelings for this person than you expected and yeah for some of you you may be in separation but for most of you i feel like yeah you may be in separation and you haven't seen each other for a while but for most of you i feel like you are you are together but you're kind of mm, in a stalemate situation when nothing it's it's not going to the next level it's not going to the next level it's kind of you are together but you are Maybe you're just dating or casually dating or on and off dating or kind of together and not together at the same time. Together but very independent, you see. So, uh, or maybe you decided that you will be friends with benefits and you started catching feelings, right? So, also a possible situation here for pile number two. So, let's see. Uh, let's see more about the situation and about what's the future here. Page of Wands. Uh, four of wands yeah i feel like you know pile number two can be for some people who are um, young and you're living in the dorm uh, or just in the similar i don't know in the um, college town something like this yeah a lot of wands here a lot of fire or you are in a creative community you're sharing some community college you may be working in the same college or university or in the same company but you are around intellectual or creativity something something like this so um we have the page of wands four of wands the wheel of fortune the queen of wands the knight of wands and the devil this is really interesting i feel like you do have an agreement with this person you do have an agreement that it's not serious that you are just spending time together you are having fun together um but but it's just nobody is ready to settle down and uh, you are independent they are independent you are all about your creativity or your work or something like this and they have their own thing to do but something has changed and you see with this um, queen of cups coming up with the devil and also or having this wheel of fortune so things have changed and um, it went beyond your agreement and your heart is kind of being um, a seducer here and saying like what if what if there is more to it what if they also love me but they're just not saying what if what if what if right but it's either you have an agreement it's not serious or you didn't plan it to be serious you were just planning to have fun oh pile number two and for some of you those who are in separation they may have gone somewhere maybe home or maybe they stayed at home during the quarantine or you you, you couldn't see each other and you started understanding that they have become more for you so let's see will they uh what's what's their next move and when what's their next move and when hmm other two of swords yeah you either haven't seen or talked to each other for a while talked to each other for a while or you haven't discussed your future recently And I feel like your person is adamant, adamant about it being just for fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it just, for most of you, I feel like it's something like friends with benefits situation. It's like, we are friends. We're just having fun together. It's like, don't, don't make it more than it is. Don't go too serious. And, um. So you haven't been talking about it and you've been careful, both of you have been careful avoiding this thing because you kind of had this conversation in the beginning or you had this understanding in the beginning or at least both, both of you thought that you have this understanding in the beginning. So your person will be reaching out or chatting but it's um, they can just simply chat um or offer you to go out or with other friends it's like hang let's hang together um maybe some booty call calls but let's see more so what's their next move and when <laughs> damn so you will be soon realizing oh You will be soon realizing that you are not on the same page, guys. Yeah. 
So one of you, one of you, and it most probably you, uh, you've changed your attitude to this person, you caught feelings, and you will be soon learning about, so you, you have, you was pretending, it feels like you've been pretending to be this uh, queen of wands, outgoing, well, it's not that you're not outgoing, but who is easy, um, easy about relationships, it's fine for you to be on the surface level, it's fine for you to sleep casually, date casually, something like this, uh, it's fine for you to be friends with benefits, but actually you, you are the one who's seeking love, and you have this queen of cups coming with the devil, and this person, they, they are the knight of uh, wands, and they are the knight of wands with the devil, this is something, uh, they are adamant about this is something is that is habitual for them you know and they are not ready they are not ready to fulfill your ambitions or desires as the king queen of cups or the queen of pentacles here mm -mm. so um it feels like there will be either but for most of you i feel like uh it it may be a conversation, but for most of you, it will be a conversation when you see your person hanging with somebody else or kissing somebody else or hugging somebody else at a party where you are all together and they are going to tell you like, why, why, why are you acting this way? We're just friends with benefits, right? It's just we're friends. So, sorry, the sun is kind of on and, on and off here. Um... And it seems like you will be understanding things about yourself, learning things about yourself, like uh, that you kind of actually, you want something more, you want something deeper here with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles energy, that you want something more serious, a commitment. But most probably there will be a talk between you and your person about who you are, what you are, and you will see that you are walking two different paths. Uh, I feel like I will take pile number two to the extended anyway. So if you feel like this is your message, you may choose to follow me there. But please, guys, only follow if you have an open mind. I do not form the message. I don't know what will happen there. And some people follow me to the extended to get a positive message, period. They want just hope. They want hope even if it's false and they get angry at me if, it's not what they want to hear so please come to me with an open mind if you feel like this is your message you may choose to follow me to the extended the link will be down below in the description box and in the comment section as always if it's not your message or you don't want to follow me there well i hope to see you next time and on monday as always and uh, we are moving to panel number three now Hey, those who chose panel number three so let's start with identifying your situation Ooh. Wow, pile number three. So we have the tower, we have king of pentacles, we have eight of pentacles, we have ten of wands, we have three of swords, and we have eight of swords. So um, it's a situation where you, I feel like, yeah, most probably this is you, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Um, you were the king of uh, pentacles here, and um, you've been building a relationship with somebody who somehow didn't build it with you. So you've been building and building and building and investing and investing and investing, and it has become um, rather difficult and you you've learned at one point that you were the the one investing you were the one investing and uh, it definitely um, brought you heartbreak and the there is there is also sorry the sun is on and off really it's coming it's coming and going and just one second i will adjust it so i do feel like that something happened with this Kali here and the Eight of um, Eight of Swords, uh, the betrayal, some kind of betrayal happened. You didn't know what's happening behind your back, and uh, let's see. Let's see. I want to clarify the Kali. Yeah. So it's either 
this is the ace of pentacles either you've been married or you, there were, there was a committed relationship uh and somehow there was only half of foundation on your side and on the, you, you've learned that your person is not who they are your person is not who they are they've been hiding something from you we have four four spirals this is four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and i do feel this is what i've been feeling that this person has been hiding something from from you they were not honest they were not honest and when you've learned it it, it was like a true betrayal because you've been working your ass off to make it work and for for some of you you've been even providing for this family and this person been been using you uh as as a financial support and uh, doing something behind you but i don't know what it is because there are a lot of you and it could have been different things so let's see and a little bit more about your situation uh, the higher yeah well, some of you've been married some of you have been married or wanting to get married or seeing seeing this person or oh, some of you have proposed or or you've been even uh, engaged to this person i'm oh, so sorry about that so sorry guys this is a terrible terrible situation really heavy so we have the hierophant we have the lovers and we have the seven of swords this is the sneaky energy your person has been doing something behind your back most probably having a lover and when you learn about it you kind of walked away because you do love this person you still do love this person but you're like yeah this this some information you've learned it you you learn about it and for some of you i don't know guys you are that you were that good as to just step away just stepped away because oh i'm getting so much tension in my belly right now and anger and uh and just just pure emotion and tears and uh this part is super emotional sorry you've walked away not to be the third third wheel in the card because you saw that your person is really passionate about this this lover this third person and you were that good as just simply walk away i have a kitty helper she will appear now in the camera okay just just her a part of her so sorry kitties you know they never ask uh and the light again sorry about that so she she didn't she couldn't sustain the emotions it feels like yeah just one more card i wanted to take one more card for the ace of wands sorry it's really emotional oh and now again the page of swords um you've you've focused on um maybe some idea or maybe some of business you've let and the two of cups coming up um i don't know you're too good you're just too good to be true guys seriously you're either christians or super super uh, like woke i don't know you you just though you are completely heartbroken you still love this person and you're like if if it's true love, I just need to wish them well and walk away. And you are sustaining yourself with the idea that this is still true love and one, one day they will be back. One day they will be back. Because this is your soulmate, twin flame, whatever you call it, I don't know. This is just true love. And they will see it and that you are connected through the higher realms and they will see it. They will, will understand it and they will be back. You just need to be patient and wait. I don't know. You are saints. Well, number three. So let's see, what's what's their next move and when? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the lovers. To clarify, the lovers. Your person will be back. They will return. Hmm. 
uh, most probably for some of you they will show up uh, on your doorstep or they will come to you physically come one way or the other sorry I'm getting like heartache now literally so uh, they their affair will fall apart soon will kind of end soon and they will come knocking they will come running back to you because you are their their foundation you are their rock you are somebody who can give them home and please don't get offended but for for some of them at least for half of them you are like like a mother mother type you know woman like caring loving mother you will be really happy but at the same time i feel like it will be really difficult for you to trust them again and i want one more card for this four of pentacles But they will just kind of come running like, sorry, I'm stupid, I made a mistake. And there will be a lot of words and there will be a lot of things. And there will be a lot of saying something like, I just lost it. It was infatuation. I don't know. I just got scared or something like this. So with this, so your, your dream will come true. Your dream will come true. This card is going to we have nine of, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, nine of cups and the four, four of wands. Because you're just... I don't know, you're out of this world. And uh, it feels like you can give them so much and they can do, and you are more mature than you are. You may be an older soul than you are even, you know? And um, it will be difficult for you to believe that things have changed, that this person is not that egotistic anymore as they've been before, and that they're ready for, for true commitment, but they are coming to you physically. Uh, for some of you they're kind of already on the way okay um, for those of you who has been separated for for a long time they are on the way for others you gotta have wait more because knight of pentacles is the slowest moving night oh yeah they are coming <laughs> and the lovers again for the third time it's like it will be a lot of conversation like i made the wrong choice it's like you are my true half you are my let's let's with the fool let's have a new beginning let's start it over and it's just yeah i've been i've been blind i've been stupid i've been just i just love you all along so your person's coming back and coming with a lot of words and coming with a lot of action and yeah the six of wands they're definitely coming to conquer you back and i feel like they will not even let you talk or anything they will be talking non-stop being afraid that you're gonna say no so when your person will be showing uh within about within about a month for most of you for some of you on the sixth of something um two to six weeks two to six weeks mm -hmm. yeah two to six weeks from now for some of you it can be two to six days possible but for most of you two to six weeks so within approximately a month they will be back during the ex during, yeah yeah okay so um guys uh i'm gonna take this to the extended to see more about your situation to see more what to expect from your person and uh, if you feel like this is your message you may choose to follow me there but please come with an open mind i had the same message from the previous for the previous pile as well because sometimes people come to hear only the positive news and well kind of I do not control the message and I will be happy to give everybody positive messages, but I'm not the one to give you false hopes. So if you are open-minded and you want to know more, you may choose to follow me there. The link is down below and in the comment section as always. Well, if you don't want to go there, I hope to see you soon with my new videos uh, as usual next Monday. And please take care. Bye.